All right, guys, how's it going? So continuing on with the modifier tutorials, I thought I would take a look at Lattice. Now being Scottish, that word's pretty hard for me to say. Generally 9 times out of 10 it comes out as lettuce. But in traditional fashion, let's delete the cube. So I'm going to use this skull as a demonstration object. Now in order to use the modifier, we need to add in a lattice object. So you can come up here, or as some users have mentioned, I can press Shift and A, and I can add lattice. Now I'm going to toggle X-Ray, so the shortcut for this is Alt and Z, or you can come up to these two little squares. That just means we get a better view. I'll press 1 to jump into front orthographic and I'll just scale the object to essentially act like a bounding box. So something like this. I'll press Alt and Z to toggle X-Ray. And you can see here on the right that we now have object data properties for the lattice. So it's this kind of green square, it looks like the window symbol. Now the resolution in U, V and W pretty much acts like X, Y and Z. So I'm going to make this 3 for each object. And that essentially gives us a control point in the middle. Now, you can always up this value if you need more control, so something like this. Now, you can change the interpolation of how the lattice actually performs, so you can change it from a B spline to something like linear. But we'll leave everything on default. So in order to use the lattice, we need to select the object, go to the modifiers tab, and you can see here in the deformation, lattice. And all we do is select the object, so in our case it would be lattice. I'm going to select the cage and I'm going to press tab to jump into edit mode. So you can see here we have vertex or points that we can actually manipulate the mesh. So I'll use the lasso tool and I'll just select the top points. And I'll just use the move tool to manipulate the mesh. So something like this. Pretty powerful and a great way for doing deformation or even just manipulating the mesh. I'll press W to select the lasso tool again. So I'm going to show you a few other options. If we come up to Lattice, you can see that we have different methods for transformation. So I'm going to use Push and Pull, and you can see that the middle point has been manipulated the most here. So if I move the mouse up and down, so let's make it a kind of Mars attack, man. <laughs> so we have something like this. So what worst demonstration ever. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is select the bottom points using the lasso tool. I'll come up to Lattice, go to Transform, and let's do something like warp. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> this is why I love 3D. So I'll select the bottom points, I'll come up to the lattice, I'll go to transform, and I'll just use push and pull again. It was quite entertaining the last time, and I'll do something like this. Then I'll move, use the move tool, and I'll bring it down. <laughs> so if you need more control, you can actually individually move at each point. So that's pretty much the lattice tool. Now you can create shape keys, you can also come up and you have different options, so you can use things like interactive mirror, snapping options, and that's pretty much it. And that's the worst model I've ever seen. <laughs> Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if possible share the videos, it does help, you know what to do. Peace.